The Nakrari ancient Greek, Nakraria was a subdivision of the people of Attica, among the most ancient in the Athenian state. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The word is derived either from nas, a ship, and describes the duty imposed upon each nakrari of providing one ship and two, or more probably ten horsemen, or from neo, I dwell, in which case it has to do with a householder census. The former is generally accepted in view of the fact that the nakraris were certainly the units on which the Athenian fleet was based. Topic: History. The view once held on the strength of a fragment of Aristotle, quoted carelessly by Photius that the Nakrari was invented by Solon may now be regarded as obsolete see the Aristotelian constitution, v. 3. Each of the four Ionian tribes was divided into three treaties, thirds, each of which was subdivided into four Nakraris, there were thus forty-eight Nakraris. The earliest mention of the term is in Herodotus, v. 71, where it is stated that the Silonian conspiracy was put down by the Protoneus chief men of the Nakraris. Although it is generally recognized that in this passage we can trace an attempt to shift the responsibility for the murder of the suppliants from the Archon Megacles, it is highly improbable that the Protoneus of the Nakraris did not play a part in the tragedy. Thucydides is probably right, as against Herodotus, in asserting that the nine archons formed the Athenian executive at this period. It may be conjectured, however, that the military forces of Athens were organized on the basis of the Nakraris, and that it was the duty of the presidents of these districts to raise the local levies. It is certainly remarkable that the Aristotelian constitution of Athens does not connect the Nakrari with the fleet or the army. From Chapter V, it would appear that its importance was chiefly in connection with finance. The Nakrari consisted of a number of villages, and was, therefore, a local unit very much in the power of the Nakraros, who was selected by reason of wealth. The Nakraros superintended the construction of, and afterwards captained, the ship, and also assessed and administered the taxes in his own area. In the reforms of Cleisthenes, the Nakraris gave place to the deems as the political unit. In accordance with the new decimal system, their number was increased to 50. Whether they continued and if so, how long to supply one ship and two or ten horsemen each is not certainly known. Cheatimus in Phocius asserts that they did, and his statement is to a certain extent corroborated by Herodotus v. 89, who records that, in the Aeginetan War before the Persian invasion, the Athenian fleet numbered only 50 sail. See also Triarchy Further reading The Constitutional Antiquities of Sparta and Athens. By Gustav Gilbert. PG 133+. Sources Phocius, who is clearly using the A.T.H. Pole, he quotes from it the last part of his article Totodem Verbis, Showman, Antique, p. 326, Eng, Trans. Quoted by Gisandis, A.T.H. Pole, v. 13. Refutes Gilbert, Greek Constitutional Antiquities, Eng. Trans, 1895, and in J.A.H.R.B. Class. Phil, C.X.I., 1875, pp. 9 S.E.Q. A.H.J. Greenwich, Handbook of Greek Const. Hist. p. 134. For derivation of name, G. Meyer, Kirsch's Studien, v. 175, where Weckline is refuted. <laughs>